Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler, and welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards, see what's in store with a message from Spirit. How are you all doing today? How was yesterday? Have you been seeing any of these alignments yet? Uh, these synchronistic meetings and such, the energy is popping. It is happening. It is moving. Like Spirit said yesterday, from the 5th to the 8th is big forward mo uh, movements and momentum. So I'm really curious what's in the cards today. Let's dive into that. So this week I'm using the Awakening Avalon Oracle deck and uh, there's links in the description box below if you feel drawn to the deck. So let me see here, what's in the cards today, Spirit? So they're doing something really interesting. They're kind of like, shh, there are things being unearthed for you now or revealed for you now and they're showing me that uh, the seven of uh, seven of swords card in tarot which can often mean like deception or things being hidden but this more to me spirit is showing it to me like there's things under the surface so they're beautiful revelations is what they're saying this week and that can be in really big ways for some and in smaller ways for others maybe it's a revelation that you really are on your path now and you just are getting that reinforcement and you can actually kind of let your energy relax a little bit in that there's many ways it can show itself so again general message here so take the parts that resonate they will resonate for you when the message is yours okay what do the cards say okay Ooh, interesting divine alignments whoa okay now this is so neat so remember yesterday we got messages that spirit is here they said tune in meditate uh there was another card that was a oh clear audience right like spirit messages spirit messages spirit is here tune in so interesting in supporting us in these alignments i want to show you these two cards first this one here is ask your guides trust your guides will help will help this speaks so much about their presence. Your spirit guides are near you now. They are here helping to guide you through number patterns, signs, symbols, synchronistic events. They're trying to make them happen for you because you have clearly described it to the universe. You have, you are using kind of that energy of the secret, which is that law of attraction and drawing it to you. You're bringing it forward and your guides are reaching back to help make those connections happen. So, a big piece of guidance with this is continue communicating with your guides. Use your voice inside your head, outside of your head and communicate with them. Tell them when you notice signs and symbols. Like the other day, I had a ladybug come into my room after I had had a beautiful conversation with my guides and the ladybug for me is a very key sign. And so when I saw that, I was like, thank you. I see it. This is beautiful. I appreciate it. You know, like acknowledge them when they reach out and continue to communicate with them because they're really, really close to help make sure these alignments can come together um, in the best way possible. And there is always free will in that. There is different things that humans can do to kind of change it, alter it, even in the last minute, but they then have a plan B and a plan C and a plan D. And I mean, with some, I have seen like beyond our alphabet of plans. There are always other options of things, of alignments, of how they can bring it through. So the more you can communicate with them and listen to their signs, the easier they can lead you into the right place, the right time. Now, the other card I want to speak about too is the Ancestors Gather card. This says call on the ancestors. So not only are your spirit guides here helping, but your ancestors, both in your soul lineage and your biological lineage, are gathering to help bring these alignments into place. And one thing that I want to say, yeah, that's funny. I was just going to mention it and Spirit's mentioning it too. It really applies to this connect to the cosmos card, open to other dimensions. Now, something that Spirit shared with me just on the weekend is that in the month of February until the month of April, we are entering into this phase of alignment astrologically. Now, I'm, I'm not an astrologer. I don't know how that relates to the specific astrology, but they said that it is mirrored like astrology where, you know, certain 
uh, planets align and at certain times and then they move and they carry on. There's an alignment right now to do with the cosmos where we are opening up a doorway for massive amounts of alignments to happen on our planet. Meaning spirit can come in in a more tangible way to help make these divine unions happen, to allow certain healings to happen, to rewrite some things that have been delayed, right? We talked about that before, some delays that started in, or some things that started in September of 2023, really coming into alignment now, but it's not limited to just that. There might be delays you've been waiting for for a couple of years that have almost come to fruition and then fell away and have almost come to fruition and fell away. This alignment of the next two months is really gonna facilitate a lot of that coming in, that higher guidance. There, there's a clearer pathway, it's the best way I can explain it, based on cosmic alignments. So uh, Spirit is really wanting to mention that. And it's funny, when I looked up at the clock before, when they were talking about this change, it was 5.55 on my timer, on my video timer. So it's interesting, the timing of that, 5.55, fives mean change. This, this alignment energy is really helping facilitate the changes we need. And it has an opportunity to be very rapid between February and April. So we're in that window right now. With an amplification of that window this week, again, from the 5th to the 8th, massive amplification. Now the other card, the last card that came out today is Clairvoyance. This says, open your inner sight. So what I find interesting, yesterday we had clairaudience, today we have clairvoyance. This really tells me that this week, Spirit is using all of the modalities to come through. So they may come through very strong with you in vision state. They may come through audibly. You may hear it in your mind, maybe hear it in a song. Uh, you may see it in number patterns like we saw 555. You may see it or hear it in conversations that you overhear or or things on TV, uh, you name it, in your meditations even, because there was a draw yesterday to meditate. Notice the many ways the messages can come through. And these will be messages to reinforce this beautiful alignment, to allow for these beautiful alignments on our planet now. Because spirit is really wanting to help you move forward. Forward momentum is really at the forefront of our energy right now in our own individual journeys, because the forward movement in our individual journeys anchors in an energy for the collective to pull from. So it's really neat. Sometimes we have very big collective energies that can trigger or glimmer our individual journeys, but right now, huge emphasis on the individual journey to help create that net or that web framework for the collective energy to follow suit. So what you do matters. You, like yesterday, swan diving into those opportunities, but with your own boundaries matters. And Spirit is listening, they are helping, and uh, it's for you to open up to what is unfolding for you. So, what a great message today. This is a fantastic start of the week. So I'll leave that with all of you. I also do want to, again, invite you to the Lightworker group call uh, that we're doing on Wednesday night and it'll be on Zoom, it'll be a lot of fun. It's an opportunity to sit in an open circle, meaning anybody, all levels can join in. We will do a group tune in to Spirit, see what kind of messages we can receive. So it's interesting that that is being hosted this week during a week that is very, uh, has a high emphasis on messages. So if you need help getting into those messages, you may wanna join in. That group energy can help amplify your ability to tune into Spirit. So if you're interested in that, you can sign up at avalonspirit.com and um, it is under the Lightworker Mentorship Group monthly sessions. So I hope to see you there. It would be a lot of fun and I will leave that with all of you. So thank you so much as always for joining. Please do subscribe and share. I appreciate that so much. I appreciate you. You matter more than you know. So have a beautiful rest of your day.